joke. No. <laughs> Welcome to Marvelous Videos, I'm Chris, and in today's video we'll be going over 11 disturbing monsters who would make H.R. Giger proud. Seven years ago, sci-fi fans mourned the death of master sculptor, painter, artist, and set designer H.R. Giger, but they can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that his legacy will live on in the minds and hearts of many generations to come. Giger is best remembered for his design of the alien xenomorphs from the 1979 horror science fiction thriller Alien for which he won the 1980 Oscar for visual effects and its sequels. Xenomorphs were dreadfully scary creatures, and Giger based them on his painting Necronomicon 4. He took inspiration from artists like Ernest Fuchs and Salvador Dali, as well as the literary works of H.P. Lovecraft, but still remained entirely original. Giger's specialty was him knowing exactly what would scare us as audiences. In an interview, he said that he didn't want his alien to have eyes, because that made it scarier. People wouldn't know where it was looking, and that would heighten the horror. This sort of vision was groundbreaking and space-shattering. Oh, and while we're on the subject of space, in 2018, an asteroid was named 109712, Giger, after this man. However, his legacy isn't limited just to xenomorphs. He designed a Batmobile for Batman Forever and worked on films like Poltergeist 2. Furthermore, his art became a part of pop culture. His painting and artwork attracted many rock bands. Notably, Dead Kennedys use his painting, Penis Landscape, as a poster insert for their 1985 film, Frankenchrist. And their record label almost went bankrupt defending the decision in court. Now, Giger continues to influence interior design, fashion, and tattoos. In this video, we'll talk about the monsters who hail from the different media and qualify to be in Giger's museum, or at least in his heart. Before we dive into it, make sure you hit the notification button so you can be notified of our daily uploads. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and leave a comment. The Jangly Man – Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark 2019. The movie is a horror film and is based on the children's book series of the same name by Alvin Schwartz. Stella and her friends end up in a haunted house and find a book of macabre stories. Soon, they realize that the ghosts and monsters from the book are coming to life and taking away the children one by one. The jangling man is coming. He's gonna say me. What's going on? The last one of these is the jangly man. He reveals himself in a deadly fashion as his body parts fall from a chimney. First comes the head, which says, Me Tai Doey Walker, which is followed by his limbs and finally his torso. All the body parts assemble to make a fully grown paranormal predator. With his superhuman strength, he immediately kills a police officer by snapping his neck. The jangly man has visible signs of decomposition due to death, and his pale, waxy, and leathery body is super agile. <sighs> He has superhuman speed as he chases one of the protagonist's speeding car. He runs on all four limbs, but can also stand erect. According to the co-writer and co-producer of the film, Guillermo del Toro, Jangly Man was an amalgamation of various stories by Alvin Schwartz. But his final appearance and feeling was inspired by Schwartz's limber dancing corpse in the story, Aaron Kelly's Bones. Actor Tori James, who participated in season 13 of America's Got Talent, played the Jangly Man his flexibility and height affording the character a greater fear factor. When the jangly man's creepy body is heard creaking and cracking, the audience is left freaking and shrieking. <laughs> Zygote, The Flesh Monster, Oates Studio short horror film. Neil Blumkamp, the director of District 9, started the Oat Studio in 2019. The studio produces short experimental horror films, testing the waters and seeking feedback from audiences to see whether the shorts have the potential to be turned into full-length features. One such film was Zygote, which came out in July 2017. Reload! Reload! The story is set in 2050 when a giant meteor hits the northern parts of Russia and Canada. 
and brings with it several valuable superconductors and other metals. One of these elements can sense, feel, and perceive things. It turns out to be a light-based parasitic creature that sends gigabytes of information through streaks of light and takes control of organisms. It then influences the organism to kill others and assimilate their bodies into one single being. Now in this film, a mine was affected by the light and therefore the workers came under the influence of the alien parasite. The first victim is able to kill and fuse with 96 of the 98 personnel, leaving only John Quinn and Barkley. These two plan to reach the facility's fortifications to salvage food and water and wait until they are rescued. But the zygote flesh monster is behind them, and his multiple fusions with the 96 members of the personnel have given him fingerprint access to all the doors. He also has absorbed the knowledge each victim possessed, becoming more anomalous and powerful from each of its kills. The zygote possesses 96 pairs of hands and legs extending from its body with a head that's covered with the eyes of its victims. The alien entity is equal parts intelligent and destructive, but what makes it even scarier is the fact that it knows how its opponents function and think because it has gained this information from its other human victims. Monsters from A Quiet Place, 2018 A Quiet Place is a movie by director John Kransky, who is also an actor, starring in action films like 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. This film is set on Earth 400 days after an alien invasion. The extraterrestrial creatures that have attacked our planet are blind but have hypersensitivity auditory senses, and they kill anything and everything that makes a sound. They have killed most of the human population, and only a few have survived in desolate places. Now in the film, Kransky, who plays Lee Abbott, struggles to provide safety for his family. These creatures have evolved over a long period of time into skilled predators. Their bodies are covered with an indestructible exoskeleton that immunizes them from bullets. However, their inner physiology is fleshy and weak. They are vaguely humanoid but have arms that are almost double the size of their legs. Their heads have no eyes but are equipped with a jaw that has razor-sharp teeth, which they use to kill humans and other organisms. Strangely though, they don't eat their victims. Now, the whole film feels like an extended version of the Jurassic Park scene with velociraptors in the kitchen and director Kransky said that that was one of his sources of inspiration. These creatures have numerous similarities to the aliens in Ridley Scott's film, such as a lack of eyes and an ability to thrive only on their predatory intelligence. Like the xenomorphs, these creatures are also from outer space and came to Earth on meteors after their own planet was destroyed. Anonymous Mobile Sword Screamers 1995 Anonymous Mobile Swords or Screamers features as the titular beast in the 1995 film by Christian Duguay, which is based on a short story called Second Variety by Philip K. Dick. The story is set in 2078 on the planet called Cyrus 6b where scientists have created the futuristic mechanical weapon of the title, a type of cyborg robot whose nickname comes from the high-pitched noise made before its enemies are vanquished. They were invented by scientists for the singular purpose of killing. However, their presence later became a mortal threat to everyone on the planet, including the scientists. These robots are self-replicating cyborgs that look like a cross between armadillos and dinosaurs. With blades and saws, they can rip and slice attackers. They were also given artificial intelligence as a mean to improve their hunting abilities and killer instincts. But to everyone's surprise, this just made them turn on their creators, their replication allowing the ranks to swell to press-less levels. Now, before long, 
the AMS learned to mimic human behavior and began taking over the planet for themselves, becoming so advanced that they were indistinguishable from humans. Despite this, the initial AMS were reptilian mechanical creatures with protruding spine and vertebrae. With elongated skulls, we smell Giger! The Alien Creatures, Monsters, 2010 Scientists from NASA discover the presence of light in one of the moons of Jupiter called Europa. They send a space probe to investigate. But the craft becomes infested with alien life and on its return, crash lands along the border between Mexico and the United States. Initially, humans tried to contain the aliens in quarantine zones, but gradually these creatures spread all across the Earth. The physiology of these monsters is similar to octopuses and squids. They can grow up to 300 feet and can weigh anywhere between 1,000 to 4,500 pounds. And although they come in various shapes and sizes, they all have one common physiological feature, tentacles. These deadly aliens breed and grow faster in arid regions, like that of the Middle East, and it seems that they don't require water as a necessity to survive. The film shows off some horrifying Giger-esque aliens like the octopus monster, which has numerous tentacles and four insectoid legs. However scarier and deadlier than these are the Goliath alien monsters, which look like octopus monsters but have a long neck loaded with tentacles. Care what kind of leprosy you got? We need to find that girl. Now you can make this peaceful. Or you can make it hard. Wrong One Slither, 2006. In this debut film of legendary director James Gunn, beginning with a meteor that breaks upon entering the Earth's atmosphere and lands in the sleepy town of Wheelsley. What the fuck? God! Out of this extraterrestrial rock comes a hostile and sediment parasite that infects a wealthy resident of the area named Grant. The Long One is an intelligent life form that has existed in the universe since time itself, and its prime objective has been to consume entire planets. The process starts with a needle-like organism infecting a primary host. This parasite takes control of the host and develops an insatiable hunger for raw meat. The host then impregnates another organism, or woman who bears thousands of slug-like larvae in her womb. The larvae then go on to infect others. The long one gets its name from the fact that all the secondary hosts get consumed and assimilated into the primary host and begin to form one monstrous blob of immovable flesh with tentacles growing from just about anywhere. The blob doesn't have definite physiology. Its long and powerful tentacles act like whips and can throw people and objects into the air. Of course, it's insanely strong and resilient to ammunition. What makes this mass scarier is its sediment nature. The primary host can control the minds of all of the secondary hosts and turn them into his minions. Gunn's imagination is a scary thing, but the director's strongest asset in his ability to build a connection with the audience, making it impossible to resist the sheer terror they are viewing. Calvin, Life, 2017 Calvin is the monstrous alien villain of the 2017 film Life, directed by Daniel Espinoza and starring modern-day Hollywood greats such as Jake Gyllenhaal as David Jordan and Ryan Reynolds as Roy Adams. Both Jordan and Adams are a part of the International Space Station crew who discovers life form on Mars. They bring this dormant and inhibernating life form onto the ISS and soon realize that it's a highly intelligent and hostile apex predator who may very well have killed all life forms on Mars. Initially, it was as small as tissue but started growing to monstrous levels once it consumed water and other materials. As a predatory marvel created by nature, its primary objective is to regrow itself by absorbing anything it can, from muscle and bones to blood and flesh. <coughs> After it fulfills that 
Calvin goes on a rampage and kills everything that moves. He has translucent skin, and one can see the blood circulatory system underneath the surface. The physiological structure of the creature is accurately strange and terrifying because it almost looks like a mix of tentacled creature, a gargantuan jellyfish, and a flatworm. Because of its lack of definitive structure, it has the ability to reshape itself and can fit through tight spaces. Calvin knows one thing and one thing only, to hunt, kill, and consume. Raw Shock, Silent Hill, Shattered Memories The Raw Shock are hostile monsters from the Silent Hill, Shattered Memories game. These are grotesque, humanoid monsters who hunt in a pack and are intelligent enough to predict their victim's movement. Their own movement and appearance make them haunting creatures who can only be stopped by lighting up flares. <laughs> With hairless bodies and pale skins, the monsters can take any of four different forms depending on the player's psyche. If a player focuses on sex and women, he will encounter the feminine raw shot, whose preserved features include a phallus-shaped head and a body filled with protruding nipples. The diseased raw shock reveals itself to anyone with a focus on drugs and alcohol. These monsters have cancerous bodies with flesh covered in fungus. Disgusting! The other two raw shock forms are abstract and atrophic. These are the least monstrous and yet the most frightening creatures on the list. And you must be wondering how. The game Silent Hill Shattered Memories is known to be based on the AI that profiles the player's psyche and changes the story based on the way the player plays the game. Hence, the raw shock that the player obtains is entirely dependent on their own mind. This kind of psychological evaluation might leave a few of us looking for places to hide. Sarah Kerrigan, StarCraft Franchise Kerrigan, or the Queen of Blades, or Zerg Queen, is a character from a military science fiction game developed by Blizzard Entertainment, the company who created Warcraft. All things. Your god is dead, and he's never coming back. StarCraft resolves around three races in a remote part of the Milky Way galaxy, called the Kabrulu Sector. The Terrans are humans who can adapt to any environment and situation, and were exiled from the Earth long ago. The Zerg are insectoids who fuse with other races through mutations and seek to achieve genetic perfection. And lastly, the Protoss are humanoids who are intelligent, technologically advanced, and possess telepathic and psychokinetic powers. Kerrigan is a Tron Master Assassin and a skilled espionage agent with psychic powers similar to those of the Protoss. However, she is later captured by the insectoid Zerg population and forced to mutate. This transformed her into a fantastically mighty creature with both human and insectoid features, and of course her superior mental abilities. She has tentacled dreadlocks for hair and bright eyes, and fingers have extendable claws. Fate cannot be changed. The end comes. Two skeletal wings rise from her back, containing branches of spikes and pincers, which she uses to splice and tear her opponents. She is one mean humanoid feminine fatale with the instinct of an insect. Necromorphs, Dead Space Franchise Necromorphs are the main villains of the sci-fi horror video game Dead Space, created by Visceral Games and published by Electronic Arts. As the name suggests, these are dead bodies that have transformed into deadly creatures. These beasts come in all sizes, ranging from barely humanoid creatures to elephantine monsters. Necromorphs can either inhabit already dead bodies or they can kill living humans or other organisms so that new necromorphs can spawn from them. There are well over 35 different kinds of necromorphs, differentiated depending upon their function, appearance, host body, and type of attack. However, for the purpose of this video, we will discuss only those that bear a resemblance to Giger's art. The scariest of them all remains the Hive Mind, an enormous creature that guides other necromorphs much like the Queen Xenomorph from the Aliens Anthology. 
Its body is segmented like that of a worm, but has a heavily fanged mouth and inner maw. The xenomorphs created by Giger also have two sets of jaws, and another similarity between the two species is their ability to spit acid on their victims. Gaming nerds and scarehounds favor another xenomorph, however, the Nexus Necromorph, which is a variant of the hive mind. It's a huge centipede-like monster that can shoot pods to spawn smaller necromorphs. Its huge claws can crush and even split its enemies. And if you happen to less fortunate, it can eat you. It is believed that this necromorph was created from xenomorph biomatter. Demigorgon, Stranger Things. Demigorgon is a monster from the Netflix original show Stranger Things. The show is set in the 1980s in Indiana, US, where a group of young kids search for their friend who went missing near a secret government facility. In the process, they encounter supernatural forces and terrifying monsters. The kids then go on to unravel unusually remarkable mysteries. The Demigorgon is a tall and humanoid monster from a hell-like place called the Upside Down. The monster doesn't have any facial features on its head. However, we see its numerous teeth when its head segments open up like petals of a flower, just before attacking or eating its prey. It can teleport seamlessly between the upside down and earth, and has expert tracking abilities. Like the early xenomorphs, the Demogorgon doesn't have eyes, relying instead on its heightened sense of smell and hearing. And these senses are so potent and efficient that it can sense blood even when in a different dimension. This super strong, lean, and muscular monster can absorb incoming bullets and has regenerative abilities. To tell you about the backstory and development of this creature would give away too many spoilers, and Marvelous Videos doesn't do that. However, this is one monster we don't want to be destroyed. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.